Okay, so talk about the concept three, Branshalong wavelength, uh, radiation. So Branshalong is a, uh, is a German, the, 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 so F E is a transition matter. So F E two plus, it can be three plus. Okay, it's commonly used as a target matter. Okay, target matter for either production of X ray. Okay, so the energy level K to M shell for tungsten are shown in the figure below. So the wavelength of photon produced by K alpha transition is twenty one point six five picometer. So picometer is 所谓的，呃 ，ten to about negative twelve meter 的意思 ，right? So 如果 let's say 他讲 femto 啊 ，femto 是你的 ten to about negative fifteen, right? So complete seven point one by filling the energy level for of the L shell by the tungsten. Okay, so 从 L 到 M 啊，从 L 到 M 那个 electron 它它从 L 掉到 M 哎。掉到 K， sorry， 掉到 K， 它呃会 emit 一个 photon， OK， so 这个 photon of energy 你要怎么找？我们就可以用我们的 H C over lambda， 因为我们 we are given wavelength， 所、so、以我们要用 H C over lambda， OK， so 你你 just sub in， OK， so 你会拿到什么？你会拿到呃九点一八七零六七乘以十的负四五 joules。Of energy, so 然后你 just convert to 你的 electron volts. So 你要怎么 convert to electron volts? 很简单的 ，OK. So maybe just a brief recap. 除以一点六乘以十的负十九 ，OK. So 你变 electron volts， 然后再换成你的 kilo electron volts, OK. So 你会拿到五十七点四幺九。So 这个 photon emitted 是你的五十七点四幺九。Kilo keV 啊 ，OK。所以，请问你的 L shell 有多少 energy？ 嗯，所以就要用负六十九点五三加你的呃五十七点四幺九 keV，OK。所以你会拿到十呃负十二点幺幺 keV，right？ 所以这个还是 forward，OK、okay?。So determine the wavelength of photon produced by 你的 L alpha。Okay, L alpha transition. So, what is L alpha? So, you see L, right? L is your final state, right? So, you from where you go to L, from your M to L, okay? So, it's called alpha, right? If it's L beta, let's say if you have an energy level, we call it N, okay? So, if N to L to L is called L beta. Okay, so maybe I digress a little bit. If you from M to L to K, is your L, uh, your K beta, okay, K beta. Okay, so of course your K alpha, the transition, ah, will be higher, higher probability. Okay, higher probability. Okay, because their energy level is closer. So there's a higher chance to fill K shell. Okay, so there's a higher chance to fill K shell. Okay, so Okay, L alpha. So, my the if I go from M to the L, my the was my the energy level, my get the photons is 多少 Okay, if you use your calculator, you calculate, you get nine point two two k keV. So, your photon has nine point two two keV, right? So, you first need to change it to your joules, right? Joules. Then, what do you need? Okay, you need your E 等于 H C over lambda， 等于 lambda， OK？ 所以如果你算的话，你会拿到一点三四乘以十的负十米的，或者 in terms of picometer， 你会拿到一一百三十四， OK？ picometer， right？ OK？ So 这个 quite easy， right？ OK， on figure seven point two， label the peak for K alpha L alpha。So K alpha, we see that K alpha has a photon energy very high, about fifty-seven point four one nine keV, right? So we can say, hey, your energy is high, it means your wavelength of your photon will be lower. Okay, so it's about this part, right? 
都在这个部分。But 说、so、有三个了，三个 big， 我们要选哪个？我们选那个最高的，因为 K alpha 它的 probability 比较高。OK， probability 有没有问 ？probability 比较高。OK， 说、so、这个是这个最高的 big 是 K alpha。OK， 说、so, 呃还有 what about L alpha？ L alpha？ 你 L alpha 你的 energy D， 所以你 wavelength 会高。OK， so L alpha L L transition 是在这里， so L alpha 的 transition 是最最高的 probability， so 你要选哪个最高的 ？OK， 嗯 ，OK， so 啊 alpha 只要是 alpha alpha 的 probability 是最高的 ，OK， high probability， OK， probability， so high probability high intensity， OK。Well, this also quite straightforward. Okay. So, what about 试问 State the significance of value of p. So, value of p is 什么啊？是你的 minimum wavelength, right? Okay, minimum wavelength. Ah, so minimum wavelength is how is it produced? So produced by your electron losing all its k at one in one collision, right? Okay. So it loses its k, it will produce X-ray photon of the Highest energy, highest energy. Okay, so this is your highest energy X-ray photon. What about? Uh, okay, so this is your how how minimum wavelength electron loses kinetic energy one collision and release a high energy X-ray photon. So, when, eh, yeah, okay. With reference, uh, with reference to seven point one, explain why the electron bombarding the target matter. Must have a minimum energy of 六十九点五三 to produce the spectrum shown in figure seven point two. Okay, so we go back to our seven point one. Okay, so seven point one will have many transitions like K alpha, L alpha, or K beta transition. Okay, so before we have K alpha or K beta. Okay, so maybe we see this one here. So we have K L or M. So we have K, we have L, we have M. Okay, K, L, M. So before we have any any transition from L to M to your K, so first my K must have its own, okay, its own vacancy. Okay, I must have vacancy. So how do I make vacancy? I want to knock its ground state electron to my energy highest energy, ah, is my zero EV. Okay, well, I ionize water electron from water K shell to water zero EV. Okay, so zero EV is what we call the ionized, ionized like a electron. Okay, ionized electron or the what we call the delocalized electron, free delocalized electron. Okay, ionized electron equal to delocalized electron. So this ionized electron is not bounded by any energy level. Okay, delocalized electron is free to move around. Okay, free to move around. Free to move. Okay, free to move. So, those electron in your, in your energy level, they are being bound, trapped inside the energy level. Okay, trapped inside the atom, right? So, for the for the K shell, okay, in order to, in order to, ionize ah. 我需要多少 energy level? Okay, 我我的我的那个 el 我的那个 electron 需要大大概六十九点五三 keV 的 energy, right? So 我的 incoming electron 需要六十九点五三 keV 的 electron. Okay, so 我要怎么解释 Okay, so okay, so 呃，第一 just 用呃 okay in order to Order to have okay vacancy in the K shell. Okay, in the K shell. Okay, incoming electron. Incoming electron. Need to ionize, ionize, uh, the K shell electron. Okay, so in order to ionize minimum energy ionization energy ionization energy, okay, 要至少
more or equal to 六十九点五三 kev. Okay, so after that, see, uh, so uh, higher and a l and m shell electron. Electron can then transit to k shell. Okay, k shell to produce needed characteristic wavelength. Produce characteristic uh, X ray lah. Characteristic X ray. Okay, characteristic X ray. Okay, so what's that? Alright. Okay. So this is your. Why do you need to ionize the K shell electron? Um. Okay. So this is your. V, right? Okay. So let's see. Sorry. Okay. So figure seven point three shows a typical setup for your X ray beam. Okay. So your 自己的 potential difference. So your anode 是 positively charged. 你的你的这个是 negatively charged. So you create 一个 potential 来 Okay. 你 create 一个 potential difference. Okay. So your electron. Okay. So let's say your electron 在这里，它会 accelerate. Okay. Accelerate towards your tungsten target. Okay, 还有 collide 呢，你就可以 produce 你的 X-ray beam. Okay, X-ray beam. Okay, X-ray. Okay, 这个是你 X-ray beam. So, for safety reason, the wavelength of radiation used for medical X-ray is no shorter than fifty pico. Okay, so pico meter 是五十乘以十的负十二 meter. So explain with calculation how the setup in Figure seven point three can be adjusted to ensure that the wavelength of the X ray produced does not fall below fifty picometer. Okay, so first of all, what's more, your wavelength 不可以少过你的 wavelength 不可以少过 fifty. Okay, 乘以十的负十二 Okay, so maybe 我们 go back to 我们的 photon photon 的那个 energy equation. Okay, so if the wavelength is very low, what will happen to the energy? Very low, right? Okay, so you think if the wavelength is very low, the energy photon is it harmful to our body? Ah, it's quite harmful. Okay, this will cause uh mutation in the cell. Okay, so mutation in the cell is all our cancer, lah, cancer. Okay, so you need to make sure that. 你要怎么 make sure 你的 wave 你的那个 wavelength 不要 fall 太不可以太低啊？简单嘞，你的你的这个 potential difference 可以，你的 delta 你的 potential difference 可以不要这么高咯。OK， 因为你 potential difference 没有这样高，你的 kinetic energy of electron will be smaller。OK， kinetic energy smaller， 你的 produce 的 wavelength， I mean 你的 energy， sorry， maybe。你的 energy of 你的 X ray, okay, energy of X ray will be smaller, right? So energy of X ray smaller 就代表你的 wavelength is longer, right? Okay, so so 你要你要 just 解释哦 ，okay. So 还有你要什么 with calculation, okay? How the setup, okay? So 你先 maybe 用你的过滤，你先 explain, explain. Uh, the potential difference can be make smaller. Be smaller, okay. So why so smaller? Ah, so you can explain. Because your kinetic energy of electron will be smaller. Okay, smaller. So your X-ray beam produce energy is smaller. Okay, then your wavelength will be bigger. So, 然后你就算，你的 potential difference 应该是多少 ？OK， so， 呃、uh, ，OK， so 你 cannot be less than fifty picometer， so 你 just 把这个东西 sub 成 fifty 乘以十的负十二 ，OK， so 你 energy of 你的负 of 你的 X ray 需要多少 ？OK， energy of X ray 需要。负十二乘以三乘以，哎，十二乘以八 ，negative twelve。OK， 所以你的 
呃，体你的 energy of X-ray 是，怎么讲高？哦 ，OK， sorry， 算错，零点五三乘以四的负三十四。五十乘以十的负十二 ，OK， 所、so、以你的 X-ray of 你的呃你的 photon X-ray energy 需要 ，OK， 负十五 ，OK， 所、so、以这个是你的 energy of X-ray which can also be known， 所、so、以这个 energy of X-ray 是你的 kinetic maximum kinetic energy of electron，OK， 所以我们知道 Q delta V equal to K E 嘛。OK， so K E 我们知道是这个 value， OK， so 我知道 Q 是我的 electron charge 或 elementary charge， OK， so 我的 delta V 应该是多少？我的 potential difference， OK， so 你会拿到 OK 负十九，所以你的 potential difference， OK， 你的 potential difference， right？ 你的 delta V 不可以多过。OK， 最多只可以给你两千四哦，不是两千，二四八六二点五 volts。OK， so maybe 你 round off to 二四八六三 volts。OK， so 最多你只可以弄到二四八六三 volts。OK， 多过就就就会就会导致你 X-ray shorter than fifty picometer。OK， so 这个是 how you do it， right？ OK， 所以第十四也是你的一个 X-ray graph。OK， X-ray 的 graph， 所、so、以 electron first of all 会 accelerate through a potential difference of， 呃，多少啊？我也不懂。OK， so electron 先 accelerate through 你的 potential difference。OK， so there's no electron。OK， so X-ray is shown in figure seven point one。So explain how the most energetic X-ray is being produced. So most energetic X-ray is caused by your this one, this part, minimum wavelength. Okay, so your the most the most energetic X-ray is being produced. Ah, this quite straightforward. So, ah, electron. Okay, gain. Sorry. Okay, gain. K E through the through the potential difference, right? Through the P D potential difference. So when it collide, okay, it collide with the target metal, lah. With the metal target, okay. It loses all its K E, okay. Loses all. It's Ke in one collision. Okay, in one collision, so it will produce the highest. It will emit a this process will emit will emit a high energy highest energy X-ray photon. Highest energy X-ray photon. All right, so this is two different way. Okay, so just describe like a process. How is it being produced? Right. So explain how the characteristic X-ray K alpha. Okay, so K alpha is what? Is from where to where? Is from your n equal two, to n equal one. Okay. So let's say this is your K shell, K L. Okay. So n equal two is your L shell. Okay, K L M N. Okay, so first of all, you need to understand. Okay, so two different way. Okay, so electron hits the metal target. Okay, metal target, and uh, ionize, ionize the, ionize the K shell electron. Shell electron. Okay, K shell, or you can say N equal one electron. Okay, okay, N equal one. After that, there's a vacancy. Okay, vacancy in the K shell, right? There's a vacancy. Okay, Conway in the K shell, in K shell. 
okay so higher the L shell electron 或者你可以写 n 个 two 啦，也可以 L shell electron will transit down to K shell, okay transit down to K shell and emit a emit a emit uh K alpha photon. Okay, so jump ah, right, two points, not difficult. So determine the momentum of the K alpha X ray photon. Okay, so first of all, we need to identify the K alpha, right? Okay, so K alpha is, uh, K alpha is, you know, moment, uh, okay, K alpha is one of the determine the momentum. Okay, so K alpha is one of the, should be the highest speed, right? 我的这个 ，OK， 呃、uh, ，higher speed， high low energy high wavelength， 嗯 ，OK， give a moment， K alpha， 嗯， K alpha 是、嗯、，OK， so K alpha maybe in this case， OK， so K alpha 它的 energy level 是高，哎不，低， sorry， energy level， the energy of photon 是低 ，OK， energy is low。But highest wavelength, so 应该是在哪一个部分？应该是在这里。Okay, 所以我们有时候不可以看 intensity， 我们要跟我们要看它的 wavelength， right? So, so 应该是在这里， right? Okay, 在这里。So what is my wavelength of here of this? Okay, so 四点二、四点四、四六、四八、五五 right? Okay, so 这个是五。Okay, so what K alpha wavelength is five times the full meter. Okay, so photon, although it has no mass, but it has de Broglie wavelength. So P equal to h over lambda. So lambda is your what? Five times the full meter. Okay, so it's your momentum, right? 一百八十八，等于四点。所以你大概会拿到一点三二六乘以十的负二十三。OK， 所以大概你会拿到一点三三的二十三。OK， 所以我就写在这里。So K alpha, right? Alpha, low energy, high wavelength. Okay, so the potential difference used to accelerate the electron is increased. On Figure seven point one, sketch the new spectrum obtained. Okay, to is English. Okay, so we need to sketch this sketch. A new new spectrum. So, if your delta V increase, right, 就代表你的 maximum kinetic energy 会增加 Maximum kinetic energy 增加 of electron 呢 So, 你会怎么样？你的 minimum wavelength 就要更小 ，OK， 更小 ，Right？ 因为你的 energy of photon 可以更大 ，Right？ Energy of photon 更大 ，So 你的 minimum wavelength， 但是你的 characteristic wavelength 还是在，还是一样的 ，So maybe 更小在这里。So just 在这里，然后这样，这样 ，OK， 嗯，这样 ，OK， 这样 ，OK， 是大概这样。所以最重要是你的这个 minimum wave 要变少，喂，嗯 ，OK， so。OK， 所以第十五，终于到我们的海森伯安森的第，也是我们的最后一个 concept。OK， 所以 electron microscope， electrons are accelerated through a electric field in order to investigate the structure of matter. This is done by analyzing the diffraction pattern produced when the accelerated electron beam is passed through the arrangement of atoms in solid. This technique is due to the phenomenon known as wave particle duality. So, what is meant by Need a wave particle duality. Okay, so high energy, low 
okay so wave particle duality is so, uh, wave has a particle like uh, properties and <coughs> particle has wave like property So, okay, so maybe, uh, okay, so estimate the kinetic energy of electrons such that they uh, can be used to as measure the distance between the adjacent atoms in crystal, which typically typically in 0 0.1 nano, nanometer. Okay, so 0 0.1 nanometer is your how much? 0 0.1 times 10 to the power 9. Okay, so... So this is your, uh, so your wavelength of your, your d block d wavelength uh, of your electron is roughly in the order of 0.1 to the power 10 to the power 9. Okay. So your, what is your momentum? So I have its d block d wavelength. I can find its momentum. Okay. 10 to the power 9. Okay, so 6.63 times 10 to the power 34 divided by 0.1 times 10 to the power 9. Okay, so about 6.63 times 10 to the power 24. Right? Okay, so this is your momentum. Okay, so how do you move from momentum to KE? You can be P squared over 2M. Okay, so you just swan. So M is your mass of electron. So what will you get? Two times nine point one one times ten down nine point one. Okay. So I think you 大概拿到二点四一乘以十的负十七呃 joules, right? So this is the kinetic energy of electron. Need to measure the distance, which is measure the distance of the adjacent atom. Okay, so I think we will return to the previous question. I think I suddenly thought of something. Okay, so I think my K alpha. So in this question, uh, okay, so in this question, K alpha is about eight point six two times ten to the power eight. Okay, so I think this question is about eight point six two times ten to the power eight. Okay, so I think this question is about eight point six two times ten to the power eight. Okay, so I think this question is about eight point six two times ten to the power eight. Okay, so I think this question is about eight point six two times ten to the power eight. Okay, so I think this question is about eight point six two times ten to the power eight. Okay, so I think this question is about eight point six two times ten to the power eight. Okay. Okay, so 一定要的 highest intensity， 所以我的 wavelength 应该是在这里，应该是这里了。Okay， so 应该是 two four six， 应该是 three point five， 不应该是 five， right？ Three point five。Okay， so 这个呀，我这个要用 three point five。Okay， three point five， three point five。Okay， so 你算 what is the momentum of the K alpha？ In K alpha， 一定要的 highest intensity。High intensity, okay. So, uh, because it has many peaks, it has many spikes. It has about okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, okay, five spikes. So I assume it has, uh, I assume it has a few energy levels, okay. So I can't, I can't assume that, hey. Your n equal to your L shell and your K shell 之间的那个 energy difference 啊，是是很低的 energy level. Okay, because most probably your K shell and your L shell 的 electron difference energy difference 是蛮高的。所以如果你 energy 蛮高，应该你的 wavelength 应该是蛮 I mean 你 energy 蛮高，你 wavelength 应该是比较低。Okay, 而且你 K alpha 的 probability 会比较高。Okay. So it should be 3.5. Okay. So this one. Yeah. Okay. So your momentum is how much? Okay. So this one sometimes, sometimes it will be 34 divided by 3.5 times 10 to the power 11. Okay. So your answer should be 1.89. Okay. Times 10 to the power 23. Right. Okay. So this is my. This is like the energy momentum of the K alpha. Okay, so K alpha should be your highest intensity. Right, okay. Because I can't assume that your energy is the highest. You can't assume that your K and your L shell's energy is the highest. Okay. So, okay, let's go back to Heisenberg. Okay. 
the percentage uncertainty in measuring 啊，所以你每次看到 percentage uncertainty 在 quantum physics 啊，就是你的 Heisenberg uncertainty。So calculate the minimum uncertainty in a simultaneous measurement of the electron， 呃、uh, ，what electron position？ Okay， so 这个是你的，你要找你的 delta x。So 你 delta p 我们可以找的是是什么？呃、uh, ，OK， so delta p 是 m delta v， right？ so m 是我的九点一一乘以十的负三十一， delta v 是我的 OK， so delta v 是 uncertainty in 我的 velocity， OK， electron velocity， so 我知道它的 velocity 是多少，呃、uh, ，我不知道 OK， so 我有它的 kinetic energy， OK， 我有它的 momentum 啦，哦、oh, ，我有它的 momentum 人就可以了啦，这样。呃，我有它的 momentum， OK， so 我应该怎么做？六点六三，呃，六点六三乘以十的负二十四， OK， so let's say 是九点， OK， divide by what that nine point one one 乘以十的负三十一， so 它的 velocity 是多少？点六三。Divided by nine point one one times ten to the negative thirty one. Okay, so what the velocity is? 大概七二七七七一六点七九五 Okay, so 这个是我的 velocity. So 我的 uncertainty in velocity 你要乘以这个你要把这个 Okay, 这个乘以我的 ten percent. Okay, ten percent. So 会拿到多少？ OK， 所以你的 uncertainty in velocity 应该是七二七七七一点六七九。OK， 所以 what is your uncertainty in momentum？ OK， 所、so、以我们算一下。嗯哼，一点六七九五。OK， 所、so、以你的 uncertainty in Momentum 应该是六点六三乘以十的负二十五。OK， 所以这个是你的 uncertainty。所以 delta delta p more or equal to h over four pi。OK， 所以你就算你的 delta x 是什么就可以了。你的 uncertainty in 呃、uh, in the position。OK， 所以六点六三乘以十的负三十四。六点六三乘十的负二十五 ，OK， 所以你的 uncertainty in position is 七点九六乘以十的负十一 meter，OK meter， 所以这个是你 uncertainty in position，right？OK，、okay, calculate the energy of photon which is the same wavelength as the electron，OK，、okay, 所以我的 wavelength of electron 是多少？ Okay, so let's say our wavelength is 零点一 nano 啊 nanometer. So, 我应该用什么 energy of photon 啊 right photon. So photon is a particle. So energy equal to h c over lambda. So lambda is 零点一乘以十的负九 meter. So what is your energy of photon? 六点六三乘以十的负三十四乘以三等。Okay, divided by 零点一乘以十的负九。Okay, so your energy of photon 应该是一点九八九乘以十负十五 joules. Okay, 你 round off one point nine nine. Okay, fifteen joules. So scientists suggest the use of proton to replace electron in the electron microscope in part A. Okay, determine the associated associated wavelength of proton with the same kinetic energy as the electron in part A. Okay, so how the ener kinetic energy is the same, which is let's go back 多少呢？大概二点四一乘以十负十七啊。所以你的 K E of 你的 electron 是二点四一乘以十的负十七 joules。OK， 所、so、以我知道 Ke 是 half， OK 是呃 OK p square over two m， 但是我现在我的 m 是我的呃我的 mass of 我的 proton， which is 大概一点六七乘以十的负
capacity okay so we we'll calculate what is my p okay p is the sum so let's calculate okay so all the answers the full city all right then little teeth and you see the full city okay so the p square will be equal to pa the links to sit and you see the full sisters so p what is p uh, let's see Okay, so the momentum is 2.837746454. So what is your associated D block D wavelength? Okay, so lambda equal to H over P. Okay, so P is your this. Okay, so calculate what's your wavelength. Okay, so 6.63. 三七幺四四五四 OK So 你的D-Bogli wavelength 应该是二点三四乘以十的负十二你的 你的, So 你的D-Bogli wavelength 是比较低的 OK So explain whether the use of proton could make a better or less effective probe of small scale structure so okay so when you you a uh, probe like a small scale structure uh, in the wavelength 越低越好因为 okay 因为很像你的 nucleus 你的 nucleus 是负十五嘛 right so 你的 proton will be a better okay better because proton has a lower wavelength so lower wavelength can probe smaller can probe smaller atomic structure atomic structure okay atomic structure okay mm. so what's right so okay so this is Leo okay so Niels Bohr combined Planck quantum theory Einstein concept of photon Rutherford planetary model of atom and Newtonian me mechanics to derive a new model for hydrogen atom Several postulate are put for so ah uh, so this is like a Niels Bohr the second postulate. So we the first postulate so so the electron move in a circular orbit radius r around the proton due to force of attraction. In his model, the proton was considered to be stationary because its mass were large compared to that of the electron. So this is like a bit like gravitation right under our gravitation. Okay, so this is our Sun Sun. Okay, then our Earth is in here. Okay, Earth. So our the mass is in the sun. Right, in the sun's mass. Because our sun, the mass of sun, is so much bigger than our mass of Earth. Okay, okay, mass of Earth. So, so ah, uh, so this is our first postulate. Second postulate is okay. Angular momentum of the electron was 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 quantized and. This led to the hydrogen atom having allowable electro energies like given by this. Okay, so this is the energy level. Postulate three: the atom emits radiation of photon when the electron made a transition from higher level to lower energy level. Right. So let's say we got one electron. Chong. Uh. And okay. Maybe n equal two, n equal one. So we got. Or transit or we emit a photon due to the energy difference between two and one, right? Two, one, okay. So this is the third postulate. So the frequency of the photon emitter is related to the change in the energy rather than the orbital motion of electron. Okay, so this don't need to care. So part one, okay, with reference to postulate three, write a word equation relating the change in the energy and the energy of the Photon emitter. Okay, so this uh write a word equation. Okay, so word equation is energy. Okay, energy two, and level two. Minus energy. Level. One equal to energy of order photon emitter. Okay, so this is so with the word equation. Energy of photon emitter. 
protons emitted. Okay, so hence, with reference to postulate 3, explain the characteristic emission spectrum of hydrogen atom. So, which is the characteristic? Okay, so different element, okay, different element have different, have different energy levels, right? Energy levels, okay. So, when electrons are trans. So electron transit transition leads to the emission of leads to emission of photons with energy with energy equal okay equal to the difference in the energy level okay at difference in the uh, energy difference in the energy levels uh, right. okay difference in the energy levels so take a photon these photons energy are unique okay are unique to the element to the element itself okay element itself itself okay so take a you need to the energy element itself so part 3 by considering the metal wave in the orbital motion of the electron the radii of the orbits were found to be quantized the smallest radius is uh, 5.2 okay by considering the forces acting on the electron show that the momentum of the electron in the orbit radius is given by this okay so, sanfen, woman, okay. So, this woman can use some of the woman can use woman the centripetal force, right? Okay, so wa zhong jin yu nucleus, wa ni mian yu ge electron. So, woman wa ha ta uh okay, ha yu ha orbit around. So, ha hui yu ge centripetal force, right? Centripetal force, uh, okay, maybe it's it, yeah. Okay, so this is what that centripetal force, right? Okay, centripetal force F C. Okay, so what is providing the centripetal force? F the name m v square over r. So what is providing what the centripetal force? Ah, uh, so what the electrical force, right? So what? K Q Q. Okay, K ta Q xiao Q over r square. Okay, so this is what the under the topic of electric field right, or electric uh electric uh curve force right okay so we'll just okay so what's our proton okay so this is what the proton okay this is what the electron so what the proton the charge is what the elementary charge okay what the electron is what the elementary charge so we'll put da q and xiao q okay 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 e first so k e e equal to e square lah Okay, so I want to make Okay, so you can see what the subject is P, right? Okay, so it's very simple, right? So just make sure K E square over R square equal to MV square over R. So I put this R down So it becomes K E square over R equal to M V square. So left hand side turn to M, right hand side turn to M, 变成什么 K E square M 再除以我的呃 R, okay? M square V square, okay? So M square V square 是我的 P square, right? Okay, so 这个是我的 equal to 我的 P square. So okay, so 记得我的 k 是等于我的一个 constant, one over four pi epsilon naught. So epsilon 是我的 permittivity of free space, right? Permittivity of free space. So just 你 just 刚好刚好这两个东西就可以了 Okay, so e square m over four pi epsilon r p. Okay, so let's see. 
table two a m e square four pi epsilon r square root okay yeah okay so shown already right okay so 这个我们还是会 go back to 我们 something 啊我们的 gravitation 的 okay so 只是 gravitation 我们 gravitation 我们是 m 大 m 小 m okay 大 m 小 m then 我们 orbit around 这个大 m okay orbit around 这个大 m with a tangential velocity of v Okay, so this we also we this we also have our own centripetal force. Okay, so my centripetal force is provided by the force of gravity. Okay, so this is 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 the force of gravity. Okay, so 五点二九 ，OK， 所以这个带进去就可以了 ，Right？So OK，So， 嗯 ，OK，So， 我把这个 square root k，OK，k、okay, okay, 我 just 我因为我 one over four pi epsilon 是我的八点九九乘以十的九 ，e square m over r，OK，So、okay, m 是我的 mass of。呃、uh, ，mass of the electron. Okay, this I give a moment. Okay, mass of electron. Okay, R is my this five point two two. So let's calculate. So you will get approximately three point nine six. Okay, so you get close this thing. Okay, so this is approximately one point nine six. So you get close to ten point six. So you. 啊，这个是你的 momentum of 你的 electron， right？ OK， so 你可以用 d b r o c k l e y wavelength 的方程式， just 带进去就可以了。OK， so 是负三十四 d f i v e by 一点九九。所以你会拿到三点三三乘以十的负十米的。Okay, so explain why this model of the hydrogen atom, where the electron orbits in a circular path with fixed radius, will violate the Heisenberg uncertainty. Okay, so this one you can see. Uh, I have a fixed momentum. So this is my momentum. So I have no uncertainty in the momentum. Because I know that my momentum is 1.99. Okay, so my momentum uncertainty is 0. So my Position, 一定要变成 infinity, okay, in order to uh not to violate the Heisenberg, okay. So, 但是他已经讲了，我的 electron orbit 呢 ，fixed radius 的 circular path. 但是 this model, okay, must have a fixed model, fixed model, a fixed